Alright everyone, welcome to the stream. Got something a little different tonight. Ooh, let me adjust this a bit. There we go. Okay, so. Also, uh, yeah, wel welcome nerd, welcome pickle. Uh, we are gonna be doing some Napoleon Total War tonight. So, yeah. Um, I've actually just started playing this game relatively recently. Um, I had played Empire Total War before, but not uh, Napoleon. So, this is a new experience. And I'm playing the first campaign in it, which is against mostly Italy, but Austria also is part of this. So I guess they, we are um, defending a town we just captured um, from the Austrians. So what? now they actually have um, more guns than we do. We have two sets of guns. They have three. So we've decided to go on the defensive by putting our guns behind natural hills. Therefore, all of our troops, for the most part, are protected. And they would have to move their guns up to be exposed to counter-battery fire if they want to actually face us. And our guns are set to grape shot with this close range in mind. So as soon as they get in, in range, we'll blast them with grape shot. Also, um, also thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pickle. But as for uh, tonight... We are drinking, um, oh, uh, you, say, uh, you said you watched Waterloo? Oh, I remember watching that. <laughs> yeah, what a be cross. Funny enough, um, my mega campaign that I really loved and I never finished in Empire Total War was with, um, uh, the Austrians, actually. So, we, uh, conquered most of the world as Austria. But, um, actually, Prussia, we, we kicked Prussia's asses kind of early on. I mean, well, they were the only people who actually took one of our towns, but we took it back. We never lost any town after the Prussians took one. So, yeah. Um, anyways. This is, um, generic Aldi brand sweet pineapple. I may have had it before. I think I've had this once before, but I think I liked it back then, so we're just gonna pour ourselves a glass here. We got the, uh, Tropical glass tonight big old glass, so this is probably more than five ounces, but whatever. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, um, still pretty sweet. <laughs> I don't know if that's meant to be served chilled or not. I didn't chill it. <laughs> you know, apparently maybe making it cooler makes, tones down the sweetness. So, and on our right flank, if they try to flank us on the right, we are using this wall here as a fortification, and we have our, uh, cavalry on the wings here. So, hopefully, actually, these cavalry, I kind of want to put in a defensive position like this to fire over the tops of the heads of these men. So right now, we're just gonna wait to see, uh, yeah, they're trying to shell us. You can see those cannonballs whizzing by. Uh, they are not doing anything with those guns right now, so that is... Look, terrain and cannons have really put a rain on my parade early in this campaign, but now I'm actually using them to my advantage, so... If they want me, they're gonna have to come to me. So now the Austrian main column here was marching, they stopped. Wait, and they're pulling back? What? Why are you pulling back? What are you doing? I did been so far. Uh, a lot of work. I mean, I just got back from work. I did some grocery shopping. Oh, shoot. Uh, they are bombarding the house that we have people in. I didn't know they were... I guess they can hit that if it's that high up. So we're gonna have our people... Uh, they got some of our guys in that house. So let's move our guys out of the house. But the, they're hitting the only thing they can hit with their artillery. So instead, we're just gonna uh, move everyone else out. I guess these guys will be our reserve, our strategic reserve. We'll hold you guys back right here and turn off um, fire at will mode. So yeah, I got back from work, uh, had some trainings at work that were kind of boring, but whatever. Nothing terrible. I have a good job, all things considered. Again, I just wish they paid me more. Everything else about the job is great, though. But uh, yeah, so they're just shelling the town, really, right now. It's not going to do them anything. So... I wonder if damage to the town is consistent across battles for the same town. Because that shot just hit that house. Uh, let's see. Yeah, have they moved their guns? I don't think they've moved their guns so far. Yeah, uh, unfortunately... Well, fortunately for me, most of the time, unfortunately right now, is that guns, the cannon, have unlimited ammunition. Your uh, men and muskets do not, but... 
most of the time they do. Or the cannon do. So I don't know what they're doing here. They're just waiting. Is the impetus on us to attack? Because I, I may need to bait them. They're not moving their troops at all. I may have to bait them. Working on a magma heat spike. Oh, what? What the hell is that? Hello, Dina. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're trying to get these Austrians to attack us, but um, they are holding firm and they will not engage our line. I may have to bait them. And I know the perfect way to bait them. They have exposed guns right there. Maybe um, wrecking one of their guns will help spur them into action. So we're going to have uh, this unit of um, uh, chasseurs à cheval. Um, I think they're the equivalent of... You know, they, they're carabiniers, basically. They're our version of carabiniers. They have a carbine rifle, but um, they're mostly used as shock cavalry, the way I use them. Uh, although sometimes I just use them like infantry to where I have them just uh, uh, stand in the line and shoot, which is not the best way to use them, but oh well. Oil Petroleum Oxygen. Again, I've never, like I said before, I think you've talked about it before, but I have not played Oxygen Not Included before. So I know this is slow right now. Let's hit the fast forward button because they're not bothering to move their troops right now. So we are going to position these guys to where they can easily bypass these infantry, charge over the hill, attack these guns, and then get out. So, a lot of this, like, these battles last longer than you'd think. This is a lot of slow maneuvering. And I want to save their energy. I don't want them running everywhere because I need that running for the charge. You're making a machine to make gas to burn for power. Oh, so you're generating your own natural gas, basically. Harnessing cow farts? <laughs> so we're gonna hide our guys in this wood here. I don't know if they're hidden or not. Well, actually, if they stay within the tree line, this is where we're going to basically have them route to. And then from this tree line, we will have them launch their assault. Now, their guns are not pointed towards us. Are they hitting their own men? Oh, unfortunately, no. They're just getting off the tops of everything else. Have we taken any damage here? No, we have not. Again, the terrain is our friend, and I don't know why they keep firing cannonballs into the dirt in front of them. It's not doing them any favors. Thank God I chose to do that beforehand, or things would turn out poorly. So we are going to now have them prepare for their charge. You can harvest cow farts? Interesting. It's strange. Well, you would have to feed them food, though, right? Or did they eat space dust or something? Well, wait, no, I forgot that's not a space game, is it? Is it a space game or is it an underwater game? I don't get what type of game it is. Um, Alright, so I think we're ready. Now, let's go for the charge. We'll hit set the melee only, and we're having them gallop. Now, I think I can trick the AI by not actually targeting this unit, as long as I just have my troops running at full speed towards this unit. And at the last second, we hit the good old charge button. <laughs> Viva la revolution! <laughs> oh, we got half of them <laughs> killed with the uh, basic attack here. So we have now wiped out one of their guns. And if we're fast enough, we could... Well, they have... Okay, let me pause, because look. We have an option here. We have successfully taken out this unit of guns. However, we face a tactical concern. We can either withdraw back into the forest and wait for another opportunity, or we could go for their other sets of guns. Only problem is, they have a full cavalry unit to defend them. And these guys outnumber us since the unit we're using was damaged in a previous battle. The only way I can see this going better is if I move these guys back, hope these guys don't charge, and instead bring out my second cavalry unit up front to try and um, assist them. However, this cavalry unit's advance would be... Uh, open and vulnerable to the guns rather than the uh, advance around the side sneaky we did before. Or we could try to go for their general. However, again, th that leaves us vulnerable to their guns. <sighs> so that's a tough choice. Um, and, and again, it looks like their um, our attack on their guns here didn't make them budge at all. So I just need them to budge. I wish I had mortars. For some reason, I don't think I can get them yet, because in this campaign at the start, I don't have access to mortars, because mortars would be my friend here. Uh, 
Because again, look at our artillery. Our artillery, it's safe from enemy fire, but that means we can't attack them either. So that's our problem. What do y'all think I should do? Should I risk it all and go for their other guns and risk losing this unit to their horsemen? Or should I rather, or should I go for their general? Or should I just pull back? I mean, I could try attacking their flank, but again, that would expose me to their artillery. What do you mean? What do you mean you're attacked in the rear? You are the ones attacking in the rear. Because, look, we have more men, but um, the problem is, look, if we retreat them right now, here, look, look, let's retreat them here. Let's retreat them to this wood, and we'll hide them here. That'll kind of block the enemy artillery with the trees. So we're going to have you all run. So we've completely Our disassembled this artillery great. battery. Their gun crews lie dead on the floor, which is very good. I wish I could capture the guns, but unfortunately I cannot in this game. That's something we're, or at least not to my knowledge. He's poop frog clicking. <laughs> not again, not again. <laughs> I mean, we have frogs. We're French, so we have tons of frogs, but not the other things. <laughs> there are no... <laughs> Well, actually, uh, the armies in this era did carry, uh, did bring a lot of women with them, but they, like, sort of stayed with the camp and the baggage train to, like, help the soldiers recuperate and, like, prepare meals and things, so, uh, we wouldn't be giving them guns, uh, <laughs> alright, so let's see, um, I did, I ha have been watching a series on the Napoleonic Wars, so, uh, or re-watching that, I've already watched this series, like, multiple times, so it looks like they are just not moving at all. They're still completely unmoving. Um, now, if if we did get all of their artillery, we could move up without a problem and engage them, because they want us to move to engage them. Hmm. And they're not going to run out of ammo, even though they keep firing their guns. Um, what if... You know, we could go for an attack on their general. Ooh, well, he is kind of defended by this terrain feature right here. Um, screw it, we're going for the guns. Do it. Do it, we're going for the guns, I don't care. It seems like this cavalry is slow to react. We'll see if they react in time. If they do, we're gonna pull back. <sighs> and... Attack! Alright, now, are you guys going to respond, like, at all? Are you, are you going to move? Or did we break you? Because usually they move by now. Have, are they just... Oh, but the infantry seems to be moving. That did the trick. Run. Run back to the hill. We got them moving. We broke their line, and I don't know what they're doing. They're, like, disassembling the line formation they had before. So we broke one of the gun formations. Uh, let's move you guys right here. So we, we got one of their guns. So now they only have one cannon left. What is their general doing? Are you... Is your general going to be exposed? Because if he is, you know, he's right for the picking. I can't believe they're just letting us do this. They are letting us run free with our cavalry. They are not defending at all. Only thing is, I wish they would hold their fire when uh, uh, they have a terrain feature in front of them. So we are attacking their general staff. Some of them are running. Um, pull back for now, because they're getting closer to their infantry. We're gonna have you pull back. But they are actually advancing towards our lines now. We've accomplished our objective. Actually, you know what? They're not not—they're not doing anything with these guns, and these guys aren't doing anything either, so just charge straight for the guns. I don't care. If we can wipe the- oh, they are firing on us from the side, though. That's not good. Uh, keep, keep running. Uh, you all may have to retreat after this. In the meantime, they are starting to approach. I just want to see when they enter the range of these cannons, because as soon as they enter the range, we want to start pounding them with artillery. Uh, and close-range artillery. 
Like, oh, oh gosh, yes. No, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Mr. Pickle. That, that's a classic vine right there. Or maybe not even a vine. That may be after the vine age. All right, get him. All we need to do is dislodge them. Okay, we've activated their cavalry run. All we have to do is dislodge them. We dis dislodge them from the guns. That's all that matters. Run. Because that unit's about to break now. They've been... They've lost around half their strength. Now, are they continuing to advance? They are. They are slowly marching forward. They got their drummer right here like we have ours, so... But it's not gonna help them. Dude, they do have nice hats, though. Look at these hats! They're so stylish. I like these hats. I love that the, we didn't even have enough, like, material for helmets or armor or anything because musket balls were just so powerful. So we're just like, here, let's make our armies look as drippy as possible because they're going to die no matter what they wear, so they might as well <laughs> wear the most dripped-out stuff imaginable. What do our guys look like at this time? Oh, look at our guys. Our guys are pretty drippy, too. We got the tall boy hats. Uh, the Revolution. Because this is the early stage of the Napoleonic Wars where the, um... Oh, look. Look, we're baiting their cavalry. <laughs> You stupid, you stupid mother. Okay, um, Vine is just TikTok. Well, it was. Vine was the old guard. Okay, now look, let, let's see if they'll actually hit with their guns, our guns. Come on, hit him. There we go. <laughs> and the best part about the grave shot is it's like a giant shotgun that you're firing using a cannon. And because of that, it has a huge effect on morale, way more than a, a regular cannonball would. Massive uh, morale effect. So, look, we've completely broken that unit while also saving our own cavalry. Now, they're very tired. They're completely exhausted from that. But uh, we did get them to move. Also, what the, hell are... what the hell are you all doing? They look British, but they're not British, trust me. They're just um, ordinary citizens we gave um, guns to. So, they are French. They just have red uniforms. We just gave them uniforms, and they're, they're people who lived in this town, and we told them, you're fighting for us now. You're defending this town. Now, are any of you guys just in range of our cannon? No, you're not. Why are you stopping? Why, why, are, you, why are you not advancing? Why, why are you making a wedge? Just to engage our line. We have this perfectly prepared line for you. En engage it. Fall into the trap, please. Your cavalry did, but none of the rest of you. So we did save our 2nd Cavalry Division, which is very good, even if they'd lost half their strength. But look, for the, the amount of damage we got them to do, we dislodged all three of their cannon with the the one cavalryman. So that, I'd say that's a good trade-off. Now, wh where's the position of their guns, their old guns? Um, wasn't it all the way back here? Yeah, look at the, the remnants of their gun carriages. So that, that was their entire artillery battery. And it's decimated now, so... Very good, very good. I wish I could capture their guns, but sadly, again, that's... Why can't I capture their guns? Or at least after the battle. That would be very, very nice. In fact, let me Google that. Because I don't know if I can actually do that properly. would be really nice. Well, I guess the reason is they'd spike their own guns. The historical reason is if, if an artillery group knew they were about to be overrun, they would spike their guns, which means they would make them unusable to the enemy. So, I guess that's fine. But, I mean, I, I still wanted them. Okay, so now they are in range of our cannon. Also, uh, where's our other guns? Why are you still firing? Stop firing. There's nothing to fire at. As for these guns, I, I used to put all my guns in the center, but I found they always attacked our flanks. So instead, I put the guns on the flanks. And I don't know which flank they're going to attack from. They usually kind of lean towards the left flank a lot of the time. But uh, let's see. Now, which place has the best firing arc? You kind of have to go down to see where their firing arc is. So I think right on this unit would be the best firing arc. So let's see what damage... Actually, let's look at it from their point of view. So... This is this Austrian unit. Let's let's go to their point of view as uh, the cannon fire comes forth. Or are the trees going to block it all? Come on. Do it. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. That did the trick. So they are engaging our units here on the sides. Um, 
Now, these are grenadiers, so we are facing... The thing is, I don't want to launch the grenades first, because they have to go farther up to uh, use them. So now, we are going to target this formation with our guns. The, look at this stacked formation here. This would be the perfect place. And look, we, we are already wrecking them with this artillery uh, barrage. I could also make them target certain pieces of ground near infantry formations, so... They are engaging on our flanks here. However, I find that it's better to not break my line even if I could bring more troops to bear on one side. So I'm just not going to break that formation. I'm just going to let them fight it out. In the meantime, they are using the houses as cover, which is a bit too bad. But uh, we can instead target that unit since they only have a few trees for cover. I could move this unit up on the flank. Um, in fact, yes, we're going to limber this artillery, swerve these guys around. In fact, we're going to move the entire line up since this entire side of our flank is useless. So we will move these guys up. Uh, why are you not limbering? You're lumbering instead. I don't want... We limber, not lumber. Um, limber liquidators. Okay, they have... Are they charging us for melee? Oh, that's not good. Um, you guys, uh, right here, right now. Uh, yes, they are charging us for melee. Okay, well, um, good luck. You'll need it. Thankfully, our guns are making quick work of them right here. I'm going to, uh, enfilade them on the side. We're going to basically make a huge flank. And have them all turn around here. We're gonna move the guns too. They may not get to do as much, but still. Uh, now our, the enemy troops are uh, retreating along this line, which is very good. Uh, I don't want to fire here because we could fire on our own men. I'm just gonna have these guys be reserved uh, and actually march them up much closer. Uh, in fact, uh, you know what? Go ahead. Charge into melee with these guys. You all target this group. And we are going to... Actually, is this one full group right here? Well, they are now. Um, rotate on your flank like this. Face them at the house. We're just going to keep moving our forces up here. We have multiple uh, uh, firing arcs here. Attack that group. Uh, pause, because I don't want my artillery targeting anything else right now. Oh, they're being engaged. Um, no marriage here. No marriage allowed. All right, quit attacking my guns. Alright, you all. Attack this group. You all. Screw it. Attack the general. No, no. Charge the general. You all reposition like that. Oh yeah, we are getting them pretty good right now. Now charge through and behind their our own lines for protection. We're kind of firing on our own people. Uh, okay, we did get their general. Very good. I hope they'll break soon. We're going to have you all march forward because I don't want to too many of my own men here, because if you have them face the wrong direction, they'll die. Uh, where's my artillery battery? Where's my other... Oh, we got them! Alright, there we go! Battle done! Let's go! Yay, so, we killed, uh, 480 of theirs for 260 of ours. I want to see how well our guns did, because one of them didn't get... barely got any. Although this one did get 34 of the enemy force with that, very good. Uh, and then the more heavily engaged artillery, they did lose four men. However, we did get 188 with them, so that's very good. That Actually, that's half. Not half, that's a quarter. That is a, almost a quarter of the enemy casualties were brought by that one unit, so very good. And now we have uh, defended the town, very good. Let me save the game.
and we were trying to bait out uh, the enemy here, and we did get a battle before, because um, from this force, and we've kind of bled them a little bit. I almost want to follow up on it and crush them, but that may draw out the forces from the city. Actually, that, that would be good, because I don't want them using the town as a defense. I, I don't like fighting inside towns, it just gets in the way. Alright, so next goal, because as you can see, we need to take Tyrion. That's our n newest um, goal right here, is taking Tyrion. And we've been kind of just on the border of it for a while, trying to get there, but we, we have no progress yet. This is just the Northern Italian Campaign. So let us go straight for... Well, should we go for Tyrion and avoid this force, or go for this force and avoid Tyrion? We'll go for this force, straight for them. And they will get their other troops. But do they have any cannon? They don't. That's all that matters. If we get them before they can heal and they have no cannons, that's a recipe for success. Okay, here's our line formation, and we need to make it better. So we don't know which direction the reinforcements are coming up from, but I think it's over here. So and do we have any natural defensive fortifications that would be beneficial here? There's just some random warehouse right here. Um, not gonna matter. If I could, could I please make guns on these heights? No, they're too rocky. I can't, I, that's one thing. They're too restrictive on where you can place units on terrain. Well, actually, it's in front of us, too, so it's not like it would matter. Um, any of this has good sight line for guns. Oh, this does. Um, if I go ahead and unfurl them, their range would be what? Oh, a lot. Okay, that would be a very good range. So, I'm going to go ahead and have these guns. They need to be in, like, the most suitable position. I'm gonna have them limber for now, actually, so they can get a the best position possible. We're gonna have them in the center. Usually I put them on the sides, but we're gonna have them in the center this time. And we're just gonna bombard them to hell and back. We're gonna extend our lines like this. Uh, I'm gonna shorten these guys' unit down, because I want ranks of three if I can get them. And then we're gonna have a left core, or left flank. This would be our left flank unit. We're going to have the marching units of threes, which will be more beneficial for controlling their movements and coordinating them. Basically, fighting units of three. So here's our next unit of three. We're going to have everyone on the hill right here. Another unit of three. This is kind of like a smaller unit almost. And there is more troops here. Um... No, these will be a unit of two. Unit of two. And then this will be a unit of three. But there is a third unit here, too. Um, well, then you all will be this unit. Okay. And we have our cavalry. We'll basically call each of these a corps. Although French corps were much bigger but uh, in the Napoleonic Wars. But this is a we have tiny forces to work with right now, so that's what we're going to call them. We're going to concentrate all our... We have two generals here. One regular general and one good general. And then we have our cavalry forces. Have them in the back. We're going to march in column to our destination since we aren't going to be bombarded when, load, uh, when at first getting in. 
So I'm going to move the guns here, and then I'm just going to assign each of the core a direction, and they're going to assume that direction. Let's go. Now, where they're... This corner of the map is where the reinforcements are coming from. So we need to take that into account when building our defense. You all will form up right here, facing this direction. We're ha gonna have our... One cord right here. Oh, well, can we select the guns too? Okay. We're gonna have this cord right here. Gonna have this core right here. This core right here. This core right here. And then we'll just let them go for now. And we have this core that isn't really moving right now. We're gonna have them go right here. We do have horsemen coming up on the sides. Where are our horsemen? One horse here, one horse here, general here, general here. Okay, the gun should be in position. We will unlimber. Hold on firing for now. Okay, so we're gonna have these troops be as close as they could be. Second core right here. You know what? We're gonna hold an entire core in reserve. Here we go. This core is right here. This core is right here. Whole core in reserve. We're going to have this general on the left flank, this general on the right flank. Spread them out. Have the horsemen on the sides. One you will keep it less stretched. Have our cavalrymen sort of fire over the shoulders of our troops right here. Have you all move up. Entire core in reserve. Actually, begin firing on these guys. Let's see what damage we get. No, 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 they're general. Fire on their general. Come on, see if we can get a lucky hit. Oh, we got a lot of them. Yeah, we got them! <laughs> there we go. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for. There we go. Woo, baby. All right. So that was very good. Getting their general this early is a huge blow to their morale. Uh, I, well, at least you would think, but uh, maybe not. But yeah, again, that is why I love using cavalry. I mean, uh, artillery against cavalry because, you know, for devastating effect. Bombard these guys, and they do have a good amount of enemy troops remaining. What are they just sacrificing their general's guard by running them straight into our troops? I mean, that's one way to do it, I guess. Sh sure. Are you just trying to use our ammunition? Okay. You want to run into a, a wall of lead? That's your choice. Alright, so we're going to keep moving up our forces. I just want our guns to have the best shot. You know, this would probably be the best shot. No, right there. Target that little patch of ground. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 
and now we can get into uh, grape shot range. And we have begun firing upon the enemy. Actually, uh, target. I want to get the best shot I can, so let's target this piece of ground. I'm going to continuously target different pieces of ground uh, as the battle goes on, because that would ma maximize effect. Because if you click on a unit, it's not as effective. I mean, sometimes it is. It just really depends on how the artillery is feeling that day. You just have to defend them. There we go. See, look how fast it breaks morale. That's that's why they can hold their own in the battle line. Usually you have them, uh, your artillery hold back. But uh, if you can stop the enemy from firing upon them regularly, then you can really use their str just pure... Um, Sir, is under power. Oh, uh, let's have these guys. Don't want them getting hurt. We'll rally. And there we go. We had one of our general staff get killed here. So two of them, actually, so we need to hold back. We don't want our general to die as well. And again, I guess that's one benefit of having your guns in the middle, is if they can defend themselves properly, um, any unit that tries to attack them, if you can fire a volley straight at them, that'll really give them a scare. See, they're about to break. See, and they just broke. Now, they may regroup, unfortunately, and that's what they tend to do sometimes, but then you just break them again. As long as your lines hold and you don't take terrible losses, you should be able to hold your own. Now, this unit's seen better days right here, this National Guard unit. It's, it only has 22 men. That's a tiny percent of its original strength. But thankfully, all this grape shot is just really having a huge psychological effect most of the time. That's why the stream's called Whiff of Grape Shot, after all. We're gonna go back to uh, round shot just for now. Uh, actually, gr round shot would be great against this group because again, you have lines of fire. If you could take out a whole line of them like this, that's a very good outcome. As long as your guns can hit them properly. Let's see what we get. Into. We got two with that cannonball. Usually, they're very un uh, inaccurate, of course. Uh, we're getting some. But the terrain's kind of interfering, so let's go back to target. See, look, these these groups are reforming now, so we gotta make sure we continuously have our head on a swivel and maintain the battle line. We haven't had the need to commit our reserves yet, which is very good. Usually I don't have reserves, because I find it's better to just use your units regularly and have everyone engage, but the longer your line, the more they'll just go towards the very edges of it, so I guess now I'm figuring the tighter you can configure your line and just put reserves in wherever they break, that can help too. Because if you have too long of a line, they won't even engage your center. They'll just go for your flanks the whole time. Oh, and they're starting to target our artillery here. I don't want them doing that. Uh, fire on them. Thankfully, these guys here... This is the only benefit of having these cavalry be frontline units, is they, they can fire over the shoulder of these men without hitting them. The grape shot is doing some damage here. I just want to break their morale. That's the thing. I care less about casualties. There we go. Oh, okay. They're targeting my guns now. I care less about casualties, more about morale, because I don't want to lose too many gun crew. We all already lost one li life. Uh, one guy there. And we have a large enemy unit trying to flank us to the south. That's not good. Uh, this unit's taking a lot of casualties. Uh, does that mean they're being hit by our own guys? It does. Okay, you all um, go go to the side. Actually, just, just retreat for now. Um, I think they caused a lot of casualties. I thought they could fire over the shoulders of the other people, but I guess they can't. Um, unless they're really, really close. So we're just going to hold for now. We have the manpower to do so. The main thing we also have to worry about is ammunition. There we go. That gives us a lot of casualties there. See, see if we can just make them lose more and more each time. Oh, uh, wait, who did we just tell to attack? No, 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 go back, go back, don't attack yet. I'm going to commit one of my reserves here, 
We're gonna push the line back. We're gonna curve the entire line, actually. Use our inspiration. Commit our fresh troops back here. Guard the flank to the right. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. These guys ran out of ammo, it looks like. Is that what that notification was? Uh, yes, they did run out of ammo. That means we need to break through here, and I know just how to get it. We're going to charge them. break their morale, and now we can, since they're so isolated, we can saber them down. So then go immediately there and start sabering these guys down. Quit shooting our own men. Jesus. What are these? Line infantry. Okay. Uh... So yeah, we're just engaging with our other forces. I'm going to move the rest of our reserves near this direction as well. And we are certainly giving them a bit of a beating here, making sure... Because if you can saber down a unit while they're running the first time, they may not regroup. I just don't have the spare cavalry to do that. I'd rather just hold my lines and try to break them as they keep reforming. There's a casual ri Ooh. Yeah, yeah. The cannons, they still do a pretty good job, even with if it's not using grape shot. In fact, I'm gonna have you all run all the way over here. As for you guys, slaughter these uh, stragglers. Now we have to regroup these units a little better. Oh, these... Okay, they are... Our cavalry will be targeted here. We just need to retreat. Don't want them to get shot. I was gonna line them up for an attack here, but uh, it's too risky. See, they're already starting to shoot at our men. I'm just gonna back up as much as I can and let our guys deal with it. start moving up this core right here so we're gonna have you know these men will be a reserve um core is just gonna be these two guys this reserve just have them i don't know pull back they're they're only what of 14 men that's nothing uh, that's not good either um we almost need to reform the whole line so i'm gonna plug the gaps here we're gonna extend this line You know what, we may move the entire line and pull it back, so let's go ahead, well, cause they just are outflanking our guns, which sucks. Um, we may have forest fighting right now, so let's see. Pull these guys back to here, these guys back to here, these guys all the way right here. These men run fill in the gaps, so, and like, so. And we're gonna go to slow motion, select all of them, hit the run button. Have our cavalry go all the way around the side. So for these men, we'll have them face right here. Well, actually we'll have them face like this. There we go. Have the guns instead target here. Now my men are being fired upon as they regroup, unfortunately. In fact, I'm gonna have my cavalry try something risky here. We're gonna have them outflank to the side. Kind of fold them up a little.
are these guys all in range? They are not. Let I have them run up a few paces. These guys also do the same. Run up a few paces. These guys run up a few. These guys run up a few. And these guys are fine. Now we're gonna get these guys in firing position. Start outflanking them. Regroup our cavalry for a possible charge. Uh, these guys are almost ready to be in grave shot range. Oh, that means they're vulnerable. Um, we're gonna advance our troops brazenly here. Shock and awe approach would help pull out there. Well, we still have too high of a strength to do so. I'd rather our guns just focus on these guys. Yes, we're beginning to break them. A lot, actually. Um, once they're a bit more distracted, we can then go into the kill. Well, actually, no, they're... They're about to start firing on us. We're, we're gonna have to counter charge before... Well, preemptively charge. And now immediately pull back. Just pull as far back as you can. But you've done enough. Okay, stop firing grape shot. Instead, load regular shot and aim at these guys. I want to keep holding them up slowly, so we are going to advance our troops on the sides. Hold them like a burrito. Now we have them overextended on this flank, which is good. Pouring fire into them from all sides as, as, as much as we can. We just want them uh, taking heavy, heavy losses, which they are. Uh, we've wrapped up this flank completely. Um, where's the cavalry? I want to send you all in. I want to prepare these guys for another possible charge, although these men are defending against a charge. Are they in a column? Yes, they are. Or, no, they're in a line. So we're just going to have them wait for now. They really don't want us charging their cavalry right there. I, I want to make sure these guys don't regroup, so I'm just gonna keep attacking. Oh wait a minute! Uh, don't don't attack. Hold off. Hold off. Uh, my cavalry almost got hit by my artillery. So uh, yeah, that would have been bad. I, I think I've had some friendly fire this battle, which I want to limit. As long as we can saber down as many of these guys as we can, I'm gonna start moving our entire mass of infantry forward on this flank. I mean, I don't know what's going to engage them, but uh, we're just kind of waiting for them all to break. It's that one unit that hasn't broken yet, unfortunately. I just want to move every single man up. I don't care where, just as long as they're moving up. As long as we keep bleeding this force right here. Uh, 
fact, we're gonna limber this artillery. Have our guys just go as far forward as they can. unit. I don't know what their plan is. Oh, these men are regrouping. Um, let us move the flank. Boom. Boom. There we go. Should be fine. There we go. Now we're actually pouring fire. Okay, I'm gonna take the hat off now. <laughs> I can't actually hear anything when I don't have the hat. Huh? Alright, I'd go to that group, prevent them from regrouping. I just want to keep pouring fire. We got him. That's the battle. Let's go. We crippled the entire force that was defending most of the city. Now we still have to attack the city itself. But look at that. That's pretty good. They they had a bigger force overall. And we, they, we inflicted five times more casualties. That's pretty good. Now, the, how much did our actual, um, guns do? 300. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, we did have a large amount of, um, uh, friendly fire, but, oh well. Oops. I want to attack the town right now, but I don't want to risk friendly fire. I mean, um, having the road to, uh, Coney open. I can I could only muster a tiny force to defend it. And they still have enough of a force to have me a little worried. So oui, monsieur. Maybe I could instead Look, I could either They only have two units capable of attack here. So I think it's better to finish off this army if I can. If I can engage the rest of them and wipe them out before they can regroup. So we are going to make them, uh, we're going to bleed them dry. Here, let me get my other music on now. As of forces, they only have a small amount of guys. Um, I'm not even going to bother with the artillery or the cavalry for the most part. We're just going to go in all, in all in on infantry. First group, 
we're just gonna go as simple as possible. Second group. Third group. Fourth group. Go. We're just gonna have him slowly push forward. Alright, they're adjusting. Still a good sized force, we just have to lay down as much fire as we can, really. Just want them all to advance slightly out of range. Now we go forward. There we go. Now we should have enough fire to just completely decimate what is uh, available to them. Yep, now we're just pouring fire in. That's all we need to do. And just keep pushing. We're going to attack the unbroken units as they're retreating. In the killing fire. There we go. Now, did we break them? Not, not bad, not bad. Oh, and we, we chomp them down like a tree. We could march straight to Turin this turn, really? Do we have the strength to take it, though? Although, our, mar uh, our general here has had a big morale boost, so that'll keep us fighting for a while, even if we take heavy losses. I don't care how many losses we take as long as we take Turin. That's the thing. So, could we go for it? I just I don't know if we how much we've been bled. Monsieur. A lot of our forces are very low. Let me combine some units here. Combine some lower strength units back to their full strength. Uh, 
like this militia group. Keep our cavalry separate. We need the uh, flexibility with cavalry. Uh, what about the National Guard? Yes, combine the National Guard. Should be enough for now. Now, if we can assault Turin, let's do it. They have a lot of troops, and we don't have a lot of troops. And we have... We still have our guns, though. Which makes me think. If we can deploy properly, and just keep breaking their units, we could theoretically do this. I can't demand surrender. Why can I not demand surrender? Oh, uh, we don't... We don't have enough troops. Um... I don't want them to risk re uh, reinforcement, so let's just attack. So wait, do we spawn on a hill? Where's the town? Well, the problem is the town. They may try to hide in it. We have to take the uh, impetus in attacking. We are the ones driving the momentum. But if we can get a place to bombard them and just bombard them forever, that could help. The problem is the town is a good natural defense, so... If we wanted to gain a heights... I don't want to fall into my usual crap, though. Uh, in terms of our forces, we have a good amount. It's just the deployment that worries me. I need to organize my infantry divisions. So let's go ahead and have them at maximum size, or at least length. Here's the first core. And we're building the second core. Alright, second core. enough for a f another full core. We could have some smaller ones. Yeah, these two will work. There we go. Have our group here. I'm not Napoleon. Well, oh yeah? I'm not Napoleon? Huh? Well, what, what about now, huh? Am I Napoleon now? There we go. See? We're good. You know what? I'm gonna bring back the drum music, too. I put the drumming music away. We're bringing it back. Actually, there we go. So how do I even want to do this? Because our guns can't even get a good bead on the enemy, and I don't want to fight them in the town. I'd rather fight them on an open field. If I can just get, you know, that wall could, well, the wall would be helpful if it actually faced the direction I wanted it to, but it's not. So I am instead going to just move my troops up the side of the hill. First core... Second core, third, and fourth core, and we will have our guns in the middle, our cavalry on the flanks, and our general in the middle, and our other general also in the middle. I see her texting Eureka, Lamau, she would never, okay, let's see. If she even existed, gotta. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now that's a lot of uh, enemy soldiers. However, they have no morale, so we need to just break them and run them down after we break them. So I will place my guns here. They will be the center of the strategy. This core goes here. This core follows. Cavalry on the flanks. 
and I'll just have 1st and 2nd Corps perform a general march northwards. Along with the cavalry. Actually happened to your friend. <laughs> we should sail over there and teach him a lesson. Who are you, John Paul Jones? <laughs> Gonna raid their coastline with one ship. One leaky old boat. <laughs> and almost succeed, too. So this is our forces, and they are converging through the town to face us, which is good. I'm going to fast forward. I want to make sure that we, once we actually get more into position, that I can properly arrange the lines. The guns are heading here. Yes, I will want these men facing this direction. Uh... I have the general staff face like this, and this general staff here. I want the second core facing this direction. How close are these guys? They're not there. First core, I'm gonna have go around the side here. Keep advancing. Okay. Now I need to balance out my lines. My problem I had before is that they kept trying to, like, and flank us on our very flanks. And the more I bent the flanks this way, the, that meant the more the guns were out of position. And I have a feeling that's what they're going to try again. So what if I did the opposite, maybe? What if I leaned into it and let them come from that direction? Almost. I'm going to move the guns up a little bit more. I want them to have the... In fact, I may have them face a little forward. Uh, compared to our lines, because that could give us more bait, almost. We could, like, bait them in. Wait, where's second core? Uh, what? Wait, that's second core? Wait, wait. No, that's third core. I want second core. I want second core almost like this away from the guns and then first core will go down past the hillside we'll set up our guns let's see what's in range I want to I want to blast them what can I blast right now if I can look last battle I decapitated their general it's like the very first kill I got lucky do they have cavalry? They have no cavalry, which is very nice. But their general is in here, so we're going to bombard them. Let's see what our cannonballs can do from this range. Oh, they're marching out of range. Uh, is anything else in range right now? Oh, well, we'll see. Can, can we get them before they get out of range? Wait. Oh, we almost did. One of them got, like, thrown back, but he stepped back up? Wait. No, they're all getting up. Dang it. Okay, um... Well, then halt your fire. We're almost in range. Who would be my best... They, they are forming up. Alright, the fire on these guys. Got one man with that artillery barrage. Yay, one guy, let's go! Um uh, what'd be the best target from our guns perspective? Probably these guys. Very good, we'll keep targeting them. You're wise, they put their general out of our range. Cavalry to stay around here. And I want our guns to not be impeded by the tree line, so I'd rather just keep bombarding what we have a clear target on. Why are you targeting the one space between them? Can you not do that, please? 
That's the problem. For some reason, when you click on an enemy, they don't fire at the center of the formation. They fire at, like, the outside, to where it misses them entirely. Or just they're bad gunners. But no, they can't be bad gunners. They're, like, the highest experience. And we got a few guys here. Oh, and now they're advancing. Really? There we go. Much better. When I manually aim, it does a bit better. I'm gonna go back to their new music, too. There we go. Just keep hitting swaths of them. Got one guy, good job. Um, I don't have a set streaming schedule. I just felt like it. There we go, okay. Yeah, I just felt like it tonight. Why not? Why not? It won't be a long one either. I, I may end it after another 15 to 20 minutes. It's just a short little interim stream. I don't like what they're doing right here. I'm gonna instead fire right on that group. Their lines are kind of being weird right now. Okay, I want to try something here. I want to make a big push. I don't want to just sit and wait. So first and second corps are going to run to new positions, flanked by cavalry, with their general behind a rock. I'm gonna limber them. This may be a bad choice, but I want them to get closer. Oh shoot, I want you all to run back too. I don't want them to fall victim. Seems we are pushing them back. Why are you all falling back? What? Is it because I may have had my artillery limber? Except for this flank, we are advancing here. I'm gonna make you all fall back. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, you're gonna regret bundling your men up like that. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, you're gonna regret that so much. Come on, do it. Fire. 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 Are you gonna fire? Get 
can't tell. Oh, I got a few. Alright, so instead, we're gonna fire on you now. Run these guys back. I'm gonna have this entire flank fall back. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yes, I'm aware he's under attack. Do I still work tomorrow? I do, yeah. I, I work tomorrow. What of it? <laughs> No problem. Shoot. Now quit. Why do they always fire at the side? Fire at the center of the enemy formation. Isn't that obvious? No getting hit. Well, it's just one bottle. Do it. Quit targeting our cavalry, damn it. Why do they always want our cavalry? But yeah, tonight I'm drinking another generic uh, Aldi wine. Generic Aldi sweet wine. It's only 9%, so we should be fine. I do want to restore our morale on this side, though. Actually, ooh, that's not good. Um... This is getting a little risky. They're charging us, okay. Uh, that's not doing very well right now. I need to give my folks some morale. Our lines are almost faltering in the center, that's a problem. They are really hurting our gun crew here. Screw it. Charge. Now pull back. Instead, you all attack these guys. My other general. Give some inspiration. You all go back to your guns. What are you doing? Too bad they dislodged our artillery.
Alright, you all join the melee here. Let's get you all back to where you need to go. Now, can you all even fire your guns? No? Why is this guy just standing here? Alright, you all fall back big time. Okay, they haven't been doing anything, so stop everything you're doing. Artillery's now useless, it's up to us now. Let's fold them up. There we go. Just pour enough fire in them and they should melt away like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, exactly. There we go. It's soon to be yours. Where's our uh, cavalry? I guess these guys will do the trick. Now, I want to charge you guys before you regroup. There we go, we did it. And we got every single one of them. There we go. Finally. Alright, so Piedmont Sardinia has surrendered. So we captured Turin, we'll peacefully occupy it. There we go. So we now have an ally for them. We have forced them to become our ally. We will repair this garrison and eventually replenish our men's supplies. Do we have any town in the region? Uh, that's a cavalry farm. 
A cavalry farm. Yes, we we grow cavalry in the ground. Now it looks like we are uh, using a bit of uh, supply here. We could combine some units. Well, it looks like they're all healing enough to not need to combine them. Let me save. Here, I'll try one more battle. We have a unit, two units of enemy here. If we send Napoleon out against them, we can strike a blow. Oh, the other side's across the river. Oh, and we're at peace with them now. So they do have artillery, but let's go ahead and attack them just to be sure. But they are all bunched up, which is fine. Well, this is all infantry. I may have the artillery on the... You know what? We're gonna have everyone as one big line. We're gonna move the cavalry forward. Napoleon spread out. Go straight for them. Straight for the jugular. And they're charging straight for the guns. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Did we get him? I think we got him. There we go. Oh, that's cool. They got the Egyptian campaign. I wonder if that's in this game. Alright, we got him. And go back to the city, there we go. Now can we combine anyone? We can. I, I will combine people if I can, because that's important to maintain our costs. We got a weird thing where sometimes the sound with this game can get kind of weird. This game's surprisingly buggy, I've had several crashes, honestly. Which is a little concerning. Here we go. Yeah, I don't get what causes those weird sound bites. So we're at peace with you now, right? Let's 
See? Just random sounds. I think that's a good sign that this is time to end the stream, so here, let's go ahead. It was just a short little stream tonight, I wanted to do a little game, and I'm like, eh, why not stream it? So, quick little stream, nothing much, so, you all have a great rest of